Hello students and welcome to your channel. So today we are going to start with geometric progression. See, we have already studied what is arithmetic progression. When we were studying arithmetic progression that is AP, we have kept in mind that in AP difference should be same. Difference should be same. Now, what is geometric progression? In short, we can write GP. In this, common ratio should be same. Or we can say ratio should be same. And this, here the difference was denoted by D. And here the common ratio, I mean, we can say ratio also, it is denoted by R. Now let's suppose I have been provided with a series that is 2, 4, 8, 16 and so on. Now in this series I can see 4 by 2, second term by first term is equals to what? 2. Similarly third term by second term is equals to what? 2. Similarly fourth term by third term is equals to what? 2. So this is how we can write 16 by 8. So, in geometric progression, it is a series in which the ratio should be same. Like there we studied, difference should be same. Here we are going to study, its ratio should be same. Now, this chapter will be divided into four videos. In part 1, that is in today's video, we are going to study nth term of the GP. In part 2 video, we will study sum of nth term of GP. Then properties of GP we are going to study and the word problems. So see, if we have to find out nth term, nth term, they can say any of the term or 8th term, 9th term, 10th term, 50th term. So that nth term is denoted by A into R, R ki power n minus 1. Let's suppose they have told to find 8th term. So in place of n, we'll write 8. And here will be a. a is the first term as we have mentioned in AP. R is common ratio. 8 minus 1. So it will be a into r ki power 7. Similarly, if they are saying a 10. So we can write a into r ki power 10 minus 1. This will be a r ki power 9. So this is how here we have to calculate the nth term by using formula that is a n is equals to a r ki power n minus 1. So the question is find 8th term of GP. So what is the GP which is given to us that is 5, 10, 20. Now the first term is a is what 5. Common ratio is 10 by 5 that is 2. Now we have to find 8th term that means n is what 8. So a8 will be a into r ki power 8 minus 1. a is 5 and r is 2, 2 ki power 7. So 5 into 2 ki power 7 will be 128 thus this will be 640. So this is how we have calculated 8th term. Now the next question, find 19th term of series. This is a series given to us. Now we have to look that it is GP or it is AP. So A is what? Root 3. Common ratio if I calculate second term upon first term. 1 by root 3 by root 3 that is equals to 1 by 3. Similarly, third term upon second term if I will do. That will also come 1 by 3 only. Now we have to calculate 19th term. So a19 will be a into 19 minus 1. Thus it will be a into r ki power 18. a into r ki power 19 minus 1. This will be a into r ki power 18. a is root 3. r is 1 by 3 ki power 18. Thus answer will be root 3 by 3 ki power 18. So the question is find which term of the GP 3 minus 6 
plus 12 minus 24 plus is minus 384. Now what we'll do, we'll consider this term to be the nth term because we don't know which term is this. So a n is what? Minus 384. a is 3. b is minus 6 by 3 or we can say 12 by minus 6 or we can say minus 24 by 12. Second term by first term, third term by second term or fourth term by second term will always get minus 2. Sorry, R. That means common ratio is minus 2. Now we will apply formula over here. A, A n is equals to A into R ki power n minus 1. A n is minus 384 equals A is 3 and R is minus 2 ki power n, n minus 1. So we will divide 3 over here. We will get minus 128 equals minus 2 ki power n minus 1. 128 ko we can write minus 2 ki power 7 and this is equals to n minus 1. Hence, when bases are same, so power will be equal. So 7 is equals to n minus 1. So the value of n is 7 plus 1 that is 8th term. So we can say 8th term of GP is minus 384. So we have seen the concept is only one. We have to only identify the common ratio and then we have to apply the formula of nth term. Now we will see one more question related to same concept. So the question is first term of GP is 1, sum of its third and fifth term is 90, find common ratio of GP. Now what they have mentioned first term that means A is 1, sum of third and fifth term, third that means A3 plus A5 equals 90. Now we will apply formulas over here. A is 1. We already know A3. Formula for A3 will be A into R ki power 3 minus 1 plus A into R ki power 5 minus 1. This is 90. A R ki power square plus A R ki power 4 equals 90. We will take A R square common. We will take only A common. So we'll get r square plus r ki power 4 equal 90. Now a is 1, so we can write r square plus r ki power 4 equals 90. Thus r ki power 4 plus r square minus 90 equals 0. Now this is a biquadratic equation. We can solve it. We want 90. So 10 9s are 90. 10 minus 9 we will get 1. We will solve this equation by splitting middle term. So r ki power 4 plus 10 r square minus 9 r square minus 90 equals 0. We will take r square common. So we will get r square plus 10. From here we will take minus 9 common. We will get r square plus 10. Thus r square minus 9 r square plus 10 equals 0. So r square equals 9 and r square equals minus 10. Since this is the negative value, so this cannot be the answer. So our answer is r square equal 9. Thus the common ratio will be 3. So this is how we can calculate whatever is being asked in the question related to nth term of the GP. We have seen and we have seen how can we apply the formula that is a into r ki power n minus 1. So with the help of this concept you can solve your exercise related to nth term of the AP, nth term of the GP sorry very easily. Hope you guys are finding these videos helpful. So please do like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.